for me, education is the key. That changed my life as I came to this country. The Show Me State allowing parents to make a choice when it comes to their child's education. Chief investigative reporter Lauren Traeger has new information tonight regarding school choice in Missouri. I hope that education, people realize, can bring people out of trenches and it should be able to help all others who uh, are in a situation where it can pull them up too. Missouri State Treasurer Vivek Malik says he's got good news about the Missouri Scholars Program. Donations for private school scholarships are up 83% in the program's second year. Uh, I'm just very happy that we had increased the donation amount to uh, about $17 million just in, within one year. So what is Mo Scholars? Back in September, we explained it all. So here's how it works. People or businesses can donate to a scholarship fund and get 100% of their donation back as a Missouri State tax credit. The donated money gets doled out through various organizations, about $6,400 a year to families pulling their kids from public school and putting them into a private one. Right now, only low income or children with special needs in urban areas qualify. Whether you're in Sykeston or you're in St. Louis, you have the same option. We should not be discriminating kids across the state based on geographic regions. Malik says he supports proposed legislation in Jefferson City to expand most scholars. But as we explained in September, not all are on board. There is a false narrative of widespread dissatisfaction with the public schools. Jessica Levin's organization, Public Funds, Public Schools, strongly opposes school choice programs nationwide. Since most private schools are religious, she says they are allowed to discriminate. There are a lot of powerful interests pushing privatization, school privatization. Malik says there is corporate support for the program. Donor amounts and donors cannot be disclosed, the office says. But with increased donations come more scholarships from about 1360 awarded last year to more than 1900 this year though many more applicants were turned away total applications for the scholarships this year were close to 2400 it was an infant it's a baby still and we need to make those steps uh, very cautiously to make sure that this program is successful as it continues to grow. Malik is running for his first full term as treasurer and does face an opponent in the primary. His office administers most scholars as well as the unclaimed property program, which Malik says makes him feel like Santa Claus giving back money that is owed to people in the state. We've got a lot more information on all of this at firstalert4.com and our news app. I'm Lauren Traeger, First Alert 4 Investigates.